Welcome to this video on the critical importance of holding down bolts. These bolts are the unsung heroes of construction, responsible for keeping our structures in place and ensuring their stability. In this tutorial, we will explore the crucial steps to calculate the tension capacity and pull out resistance of these essential bolts. Before we begin, it's important to note that these calculations assume that there is no coexistent shear in the holding down bolts. Let's start with tension capacity. When designing a structure, it's essential to ensure that the bolts used to hold it down are strong enough to withstand the expected tension forces. To calculate tension capacity, we consider the size and grade of the bolts, as well as the maximum expected tension force. For example, Let's say we have a maximum factored tension force per bolt of 100 kilonewtons. We are using M20 grade 8.8 .8 bolts with a nut diameter of 16 millimeters. To calculate the tension capacity, we use the following formula, 0.8 times tensile stress area, 245 square millimeters times tensile strength of bolt grade 8.8. .8. 560 newton per square millimeters. This gives us a tension capacity of 110.3 kilonewtons. It's important to compare the tension force to the tension capacity. If the tension force is less than or equal to the tension capacity, then the bolt's tension capacity is sufficient. However, if the tension force is greater than the tension capacity, then the bolt's tension capacity is insufficient and needs to be adjusted. Now let's move on to pull out resistance. Even if the bolts can withstand the expected tension forces, they won't be able to hold down the structure if the concrete they are anchored in is not strong enough. To calculate the pull out resistance of the concrete, we consider the overall length of the bolts, the clear projection of the bolt above the nut, the thickness of the washer, base plate, and grout, and the depth of embedment. For example, let's say we have an overall length of bolts of 600 mm, a clear projection of the bolt above the nut of 50 mm, and thicknesses of 3 mm for the washer, 30 mm for the base plate, and 50 mm for the grout. To calculate the depth of embedment, we use the following formula. 600 mm minus 50 mm minus 16 mm minus 3 mm minus 30 mm minus 50 mm, which gives us a 451 mm. The design spacing of the bolts, measured center to center and parallel to the axis of bending, is 300 mm. We will use a conservative assumption of a shear strength of concrete of 0.34 newtons per square millimeter. The effective conical surface area for two bolts is 12,825.9 square centimeters, according to the BCS AHD bolts document. To calculate the design pullout resistance per bolt, we use the following formula PTC equals AAC times VC divided by 2, where AEC is the effective conical surface area for two bolts and VC is the shear strength of the concrete. This gives us a pull-out resistance of 218 kilonewtons. Again, it's important to compare the tension force to the pull-out resistance. If the tension force is less than or equal to the pull-out resistance, then the concrete's pull-out resistance is sufficient. However, if the tension force is greater than the pull-out resistance, then the concrete's pull-out resistance is insufficient and needs to be adjusted. In conclusion, the tension capacity and pull-out resistance of holding down bolts are critical factors in the design of any structure. By following the steps outlined in this tutorial, you can ensure that your bolts are strong enough to keep your structures in place and prevent them from collapsing. Thank you for watching.